now let's apply the FTOC, the fundamental theorem of calculus, to come up with the fundamental theorem of the gradient. Fundamental theorem of the gradient. What does that mean? Well, let me draw my humpy field here again. So here's kind of a hump like that. And let's let it go down into sort of a hole, into black, into just nothingness like here. Oh my goodness. Let's see, that totally works for you, I'm sure. Let's see, like, like that. Who needs graphics? Okay, so let's imagine then we have sort of a field like that, where again, we're plotting S as the height as we move around. Okay. All right, so the fundamental theorem of the gradient. Well, what do we say? It's that uh, the integral of a derivative over a region is related to the values at the boundary. Okay, so what we're gonna do is say the integral of a derivative the gradient of the scalar function. In, case, in this case, the region will be two points. We're going to walk from A to B. Say we're going to go into this hole down here. We're going to walk along this scalar field. So the A to B like that. And if we're going to walk, we have to think of little DLs as we walk. It's a, it's a, a contour integral or a path integral. Because remember, the gradient gives you a, a vector, so it's dot DL. The integral of a derivative over a region, that's what we have there, is um, related to the values at the boundary. So that equals SB minus SA. This will just give you literally the difference between the height, the scalar height here, and the scalar height here. Okay. So that really doesn't have a name. That's just the gradient. That's what everybody thinks of as the gradient. And of course, the gradient does that. And it's a fundamental theorem of calculus. But I'm going to go through all the field derivatives and name them each as a fundamental theorem of calculus. So this is the fundamental theorem of the gradient. I made that name up. Don't go say that name anywhere. This already looks a little bit like some physics that you know, doesn't it? Let's see. If we were to exchange the um, scalar field for the potential, if we had VB, and VA, if, those, if that were the potential at two points, and say this were a potential surface, so you had a positive charge here and a negative charge down here, how would you get the potential difference? We did the integral of E dot DL, right? We had to walk along and add up the E. We were thinking about if you were pushing a charge, so you'd be moving around E dot DL. Well, that would be uh, del of V. And that's the same thing we talked about, how the electric field is the derivative of the potential. Well, this is just a three-dimensional case. If you have a three-dimensionally varying potential, the electric field is the gradient of that potential. There's a negative sign in there for reasons that we talked about before. But this already kind of looks like something you've seen in electrostatics. Let's move on to another derivative. 